Researchers have a lot of questions about that new vaccine that can prevent some HIV infections. The vaccine prevented infections in about 30% of people in a U.S. funded trial in Thailand. Now, despite its groundbreaking nature, the study leaves many unanswered questions about how it actually works. Bloomberg's Matt Miller spoke with one of the pioneers of HIV research. He is Dr. Anthony Fauci. He is director at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. We have been attempting to get an effective vaccine for literally over two decades, and everything that has been tried has been a complete failure, really no signal of any kind of even slight efficacy. The fact that we have in this large trial involving 16,000 people a 31.2 percent efficacy, uh, it's a modest efficacy. It's not something that's prime time, as it were, but it's going to allow us to pursue what the potential mechanism of that protection is because now we have a foundation upon which to ask the questions that will hopefully allow us to get efficacy of vaccines much higher than 30 ish percent up to 60 70 or 80 percent where we want to be so although this is a very important finding it needs to be taken in context and in perspective that it's more of a roadway to a lot of work that needs to be done as opposed to an end in and of itself so, I mean, the, the question then is, what's the next step here? I mean, do you work more with these vaccines? Do you need a new trial, uh, maybe a more controlled study? Do you uh, work on new vaccines that come from these vaccines? Where, where do you see the next steps, Dr. Fauci? Now, that's a, that's a very good question. The next step is to try and figure out what we call the correlate of immunity. Go back and look at the samples we've collected, draw bloods from the people who are in the trial, and try and figure out if there's a clue as to what particular laboratory parameter that you could follow that would be an indication that it correlated with this protection. And once you get that, then you start to design vaccines with some similarity and some differences that are aimed at inducing that particular parameter that you've linked to protection. Because up to now, we don't have any idea of what of a many, many immunological or laboratory phen uh, phenomena, namely the body's ability to respond to a virus. We don't know what particular component of that would be associated with protection against infection. We didn't even know if it existed until recently because we've never had a positive effect like this. So this is the foundation for that kind of study, correlating something we can induce with protection. Dr. Fauci says it'll be years until a vaccine would be ready for U.S. approval.